or you know, and remember, social media was just be, beginning when I started. Mm -hmm. So I was like everybody, I was a lot of people's uh, guinea pig. I was one of the first people to be shitted on on the, on the internet, on social media, like non fucking stop. Every day I would go on and it was some new story, made up story or, a, you know, bad picture mm -hmm. or, you know, it wasn't acceptable to have um, surgery at all or anything, even though, and at that time I, n I had never had surgery. I had ass shots, which till this day I realize even what I did and even with me not consulting with anyone to do something like that, how insane that was. Like, it's not that you go to a doctor or a professional person. No, it's some random person. Yeah, shorty in the Bronx. Comes in. I was, I was in Queens. Atlanta at the time. I was in Atlanta at the time. And actually what happened was I, was, I kept on being around Wayne and I. And at that time... You know, Wayne, he always talking about big booties and all. Wayne would have like a new chick in the studio every session. So it was always a new a new big booty. Creative support. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. A new, bi a, a, a new big booty there. A muse. Right. Actually, yes. Actually, muse. Actually, it was, it, it, they were his muses. You um, like to look to the side and see some something with some ass sitting there That's while you're right. trying to come up with a line. That's right. And um and yes, I I want to make sure I don't downplay those women because they have a big part in the, the the journey of a rapper's career. You know what I'm saying? Because when they are out there, they would give him that that fuel. You know him them smiling, them listening. You know he would he would do stuff and then just see organically what they would respond of to, course. right? Um, all of those things. So they were his muses, but I just was around them all the time. And I was like sister, I was like the little sister with Wayne and Mac and all these boys, you know, Jay Mills and Gota and all of them. And all I would hear them talking about is big butts. <laughs> and I didn't feel complete or good enough, good as them, as the other, as those girls, because I'm like, oh my God, you know, this is what you're supposed to look like in the in, in our in the rap culture and I don't look like that. And now But that was you telling yourself that and not anyone else saying that to you. No, yeah, and they never told me that. Well no. I'm lying. I think Wayne and I think they said stuff sometimes jokingly. Jokingly. But to a young um, girl or up and coming rapper or anything like that. When it's from someone like Lil Wayne, it matters, you know, like, so even if they're joking, they don't know that the person that is there in that room with them is not finding it funny. They, he, they're thinking that, and, and all, and this, ha now, now that I'm older, I understand, Sometimes you'll say something in front of someone and you're thinking that they know, they know that they're pretty or they know that they're smart or they know that they're talented or whatever. You're thinking that this is what this person thinks about themselves, mm -hmm. you know? So you'll say certain things around them or to them. Um, but, you, it, but a lot of times you don't know how insecure a person is or